Welcome to Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. The UK invests in testing labs. 2. France threatens the UK to cut off the power to Jersey because of fishing rights. The United Kingdom. The UK invests in testing labs. Senior officials said, a multi-million pound investment in testing capacity will help the UK stay one step ahead of coronavirus and any new variants. By January 2022, there will be an increased capacity for testing variant samples from 700 to 1,500 per week. Testing facilities at Porton Down in Wiltshire are to be bolstered, with a cash boost confirmed for the expansion of the laboratories to test existing and new vaccines against variants of concern, Health Secretary Matt Hancock said. Scientists monitor the effectiveness of coronavirus vaccines by testing on blood samples. The current testing capacity is 700 tests a week. This will increase to 1,500 by January 2022 with a previous £20 million investment, the Department of Health and Social Care DHSC, said. The DHSC said a further £29.3 million investment will double the capacity for testing variant samples to 3,000 per week when the work is completed. A new variant that can escape the current vaccines is the greatest risk of a third wave, Dr Jenny Harry's chief executive at the UK Health Security Agency UKHSA, said. The red list requires staying in a quarantined hotel for 10 nights at a cost of £1,750 for solo travellers. The green list for foreign holiday destinations will reportedly be published on Friday. Holidaymakers visiting the most popular foreign destinations will be required to show evidence that they have been vaccinated, received a recent negative test or have coronavirus antibodies. The UK France threatens the UK to cut off the power to Jersey because of fishing rights. The French government could cut off the electricity supply to Jersey in an escalating row over post-Brexit fishing rights. The British Crown Dependency of Jersey, the largest of the Channel Islands, relies on the transmission of electricity by underwater cable. However, the UK has denied French fishers access to the waters. It is claimed that the UK government is using red tape to limit the operations of French fishing vessels, in contravention of the trade and cooperation agreement struck with the EU on Christmas Eve. France has described the UK's provisions, which it says dictate where vessels can and cannot go and specify how many days vessels may spend in the waters and what equipment they may use, as null and void. Currently, the UK is expecting a number of authorizations from France on financial services. France will not give any until they have guaranteed that on fisheries and other issues. The UK should respect its commitments, otherwise, France will be as brutal and difficult as necessary. French fishers recently blockaded the port of Boulogne-sur-Mer, claiming that only 22 of the 120 boats that usually worked from the Hauts de France had been given access to the zone 6 to 12 miles from the UK coast. The UK government has denied the claim. It said the UK single issuing authority had issued licenses to fish in the 6 to 12 nautical mile zone to all 87 French vessels that had applied for them and met the qualifying criteria. About 40 additional applications required further information and checks. Thank you for watching. We help you stay up to date all the news hourly. Please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.